It's Taste Pink, and thank you for joining me. To anyone who is currently on a fitness journey, no matter what stage you're at, stay motivated, make yourself a priority, and stay within a positive space so that you too can see change. This is Trill Eats Volume 1. Hydration is critical. Infusing your water with different flavors is a great way to make boring water seem more fun. I've never tried Meyer lemons or pomelo, and I love the cross between the grapefruit and that orange lemon citrus feel. I urge you guys to try new things, new fun ways to make food in any capacity or even drinks exciting. And I thought a great way to enhance the flavor would be to use honey, something like this Himalayan honey, which has a very distinct flavor, but it's perfect for this drink. And I wanted to use ground ginger. Of course, fresh would be best. And fresh cinnamon sticks are the perfect way to garnish and enhance the overall flavor. And if you let this set for 20 minutes, I promise it will be a crowd favorite. For brunch, I wanted something hearty and very savory. I for one love breakfast potatoes, but I want to learn more how to add flavor to my food using herbs and spices versus resorting to salt. And I urge you all to look into oils that have a high heating capacity so that they maintain their flavor profile even when baking. This is a really good tip. I paired this with roasted heirloom tomatoes and hard boiled eggs and to kind of kick it up a notch, I love using black bean corn salsa and a tomatillo sauce for that added kick. It's bursting with flavor, it's so filling. I would definitely make this again. I urge you guys, try it. Now for the protein smoothie. Thick, rich goodness. I wanted to use this iced matcha tea because it's different. I, I, I just want to try it. It looked good. And I wanted to pair it with something very high in protein. And I'm using different facets of vanilla flavor like almond milk and protein powder. I wanted to incorporate that same citrus flavor from earlier so as to kind of balance out any bitter flavors. I'm using just half of the iced matcha tea and about half a cup of cottage cheese. Of course you can add in any fruit of your choice but try not to add too much fruit. It blends into perfection. It's this thick, rich, and just super tasty smoothie. And I definitely felt full for a very long time. And I attribute that to the protein. For dinner, I wanted to go all fancy. I love lentils and there's so many ways to prepare them. I love using garden vegetable broth. It flavors the lentils so well, I don't see why I haven't used it sooner. And I'm just gonna let this cook and then I wanted to focus on these sweet potatoes. I wanted very spicy but sweet potato so I used red crushed pepper and sage so perfect and if you guys haven't noticed I love potatoes and in the meantime I went back to the lentils while the potatoes were cooking and I want to simulate refried beans so you can put your lentils in a food processor or blender just until they reach that smooth consistency I know it looks weird I'm gonna add a little bit more of the garden vegetable broth to thin it out so that when we're cooking it, it kind of looks just like that refried bean feel. I know 
it looks crazy but it's so good and I wanted some greens so I love using green beans and bell peppers they add a light crunch and it's very filling On a whole wheat tortilla, I'm just going to, you know, put the lentil paste on along with the vegetables and stack on the sweet potatoes that we roasted from earlier. And you can stop here because it's perfectly fine, but I wanted to add chicken kind of to bulk up the meal even more. But when I tell you this is so flavorful and adding a little bit of hot sauce just makes it that much more perfect. I hope you all enjoyed this what I eat in a day video. If you would love to see more, be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and take the polls. What would you like to see next? I would love to know. Make sure you check out my healthy lifestyle playlist and let me know your thoughts. Stay tuned and I wish you the best on your journey.